सॉफ्टवेयर स्कोप एंड फिजिबिलिटी नाउ सॉफ्टवेयर स्कोप इज डिजाइनिंग वर्ड और डिस्क्राइबिंग वर्ड वॉट आर यू गोइंग टू डू दिस इज दउंड्री दिस इज दर्क वी आर गोइंग टू प्रोवाइड टू द फंक्शन एंड फीचर्स दैट आर टू बी डिलीवर्ड वेन द सॉफ्टवेयर विल बी कंप्लीटेड दैट इज वॉट सॉफ्टवेयर स्कोप विल विल कंटेन द डेटा दैट विल बी द इनपुट एंड वॉट डेटा विल बी द आउटपुट एंड ऑल्सो वॉट एक्चुअली यूजर हैज टू बी गिवन द कॉन्टेंट दैट इज प्रेजेंटेड टू द यूजर एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ यूजिंग द सॉफ्टवेयर then comes the performance the constraints interface reliability now the scope of project can vary differently depending upon the size the complexity the cost so here we are in scope we are talking about performance that this is if this is acceptable i am giving this then the constraint the boundaries i will not go beyond this this software will work only in this constraint the interfaces if different different subsystems or other parts are involved then how the interfacing will be done and the reliability reliability also associates with the availability reliability how much you can you know trust this particular project output in the scope is uh, defined using various the mainly the two techniques so we have a narrative description of software scope and this comes out when you have a proper communication with your stakeholders and users this is the first way there is proper ieee template there is also different templates so you can use that and a set of the, the second thing is you can employ umn that is a set of use cases is developed by the end users they see here end users both the cost and the schedule whenever we are estimating it they are functionally oriented because the project can be complex it can use multiple technologies it can use various other things so there has to be some degree of decomposition that is dividing the project into multiple major parts so that we can estimate the performance consideration Uh, that is the processing time of various functionality uh, the response time so i am just saying that we have database of communication technologies or any other part you are taking or a very specific field project you are making for that they are functionally oriented and along with this the processing and the re response time this comes under the performance issue which is most likely the usability aspect because the user has to accept because he is going to the to be working on it actually so these are very important part of any kind of project planning or project thinking and the constraints are also there these are the limits these are the boundary uh, created or placed by the external hardware the memory availability the existing system network bandwidth there are so many things so one scope has been identified of course with the concurrence or uh, to the The customer, because you have to involve your customer, you can ask them now. Can we build software to meet this scope which we have decided? Is the project feasible the way we have thought of it or conceived it? So Putnam and uh, Myers they suggested that after the scope is properly understood, you we have to determine. if it can be accomplished or it can be done with available technology dollar time resources because the technology may be different the time you completed the technology may be different of course the money time resources are the integral part 